What's going on, everybody? What's up? Last minute, I know. See if we get some people in the room and talk for a little bit. Welcome, welcome. People are coming in. Welcome. How's everybody doing today? What's today? The second. Talk about the burpee challenge and how we felt and talk about and talk about what's the way ahead. Hello, hello. What's up? Salute to Spain. Start talking about, you know, what's the way ahead and where we're gonna take our training. We've uh, we've been operating at a pretty high level. Hello everybody, hello. So, so there is no, uh, there, there is no uh, wolf pack workout uh, today on Sunday. Uh, my schedule got uh, mixed up a little bit with, you know, my primary duties and also you should be you should be taking time to recover a little bit about you know one to two days of recovery one day of full rest and then the next day of active rest before you uh, kick it kick it again and the reason why I say this is because you want to benefit the most from all the hard work you did so your performance will increase and if you if you feel like you don't need rest or the challenge was easy, maybe you didn't do enough reps, so you picked a number that was too low. Um, that's really also you have to see. If you were doing your burpees daily and it wasn't difficult for you, and towards the end, you know, on the last day you felt like you know my body could take you know one or two day of you know rest, active rest then maybe you didn't add enough reps or didn't do enough uh of the of the numbers that, that was done because uh like you know i'm, I'm always 100 percent transparent by by day by day like in, in the in the low 20s like 28 29 I, I was feeling i was feeling worked i felt like i was definitely putting in you know the work and when I got done with day 31 uh, yesterday I did um, a lot of uh, recovery I did a lot of stretching and uh, loosened up but, but last night also I had I, uh, I worked all night we had to do some stuff that took up the whole night and today um, today I ran and I did uh, a steady state cardio to uh, get the blood flow to the muscles and, and, and recover and get ready again for high volume training, which uh, starts tomorrow. What's up, Jay Vengeance? So you, you should be, you, sh you should be um, doing proper maintenance right now to your body. Any kind of uh, active active recovery is going to be very beneficial for you. And start throwing in um, different different types of calisthenics as well besides besides burpees. Um, if you did a month straight of burpees, it's going to be okay to mix it up. And I'm going to be start posting um, circuits and all different kinds of uh, training routines. A lot of cardiovascular punishment style stuff. And also, don't don't neglect the pull-ups. Don't neglect the core. Don't ne don't neglect the legs and everything like that. You could you could obviously throw burpees in there, uh, of course. 
uh, you could always hit burpees as a separate routine in the mornings, but then also start venturing out to different types of calisthenics because it's going to make you well-rounded. Now, of course, when you're very you're low on time and you, you have to get a good workout in, burpees are going to be the best thing you could do in a short period of time. If you have 20 minutes, then you could definitely throw in 20 minutes of, of burpees. That would be the best, the best for you. For, for September, we're gonna have another challenge this month of August. So if we do these, um, do these challenges, um, also you guys gotta understand that, you know, a YouTuber is not my main job. I'm, a, I'm an active duty United States Marine. So to, to train and record and upload daily for, for 31 days straight was very challenging in itself. And for me to sustain that, it, it's very difficult to, to do and record. Um, to record, make videos every, every day. You know, of course, I, I have priorities here and don't forget also that I'm deployed and I have, you know, I train with my Marines and I have other responsibilities. So me running a challenge every month is not realistic and it's not, it's not supportable on on my end but we will for for September we're gonna you know, we have enough time we're gonna we're gonna do something we're gonna do something I'm thinking of it um, I think it's gonna involve other calisthenics as well not just burpees So th this challenge went really like a, lo a long way. Um, I was I was really surprised of like how many people started training and and tagging me on Instagram and you know everybody everybody bought in and it was it was great it was great and the community grew and people started seeing changes and and I think where I just want to recap is you know in the end it opened up your eyes to what you you could accomplish as an individual if you really decided to commit and actually execute once somebody is determined and committed that's an unstoppable human being a person on a mission that's goal oriented and he and he's driven and he knows this is what I want to accomplish I have my mindset on it I really agreed me and myself had that conversation between myself and I that I was not gonna give up and I can't let myself down first and foremost because because in the end you you have to you have to do it for yourself if you really believe in it it starts with you is it worth it to you you got to sell that shit to yourself you're, you're selling it to yourself not to nobody else because people don't give a fuck people don't give a shit your family's gonna love you you know whether you do you know a thousand burpees or not that's not that's not the thing your friends will accept you for who you are you got to sell it to yourself first if it's important to you, then it's gonna be important to other people. So make it important to you and then commit. So that's that was like lesson number one. The second lesson is, is that this shit is contagious. When people are motivated in their training, other people see it and they start to mimic it. They start to copy it and they start to pick up on the momentum and they see people thriving and people want to thrive with each other. People want to find something to bind them together. They can relate. It, it breaks all boundaries, whether you speak English or not, male, female, whatever. It doesn't matter. People could just relate to a topic. We like to train hard. We like to face adversity. And the other, and the other side, we feel a little bit better because we, we, we earned it. We earned that day. We put in the work. And that's a common bond between everybody. And everybody understands that. Doesn't matter where you're from or or anything. Yeah, it's 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 the energy being passed. We we feed off we feed off each other. And then of course I always wanted to show people that you know, you don't need any equipment to train. Don't don't let people fool you into selling you some bullshit or 
fake workout programs or following these influencers that you know the people they're they're empty people on on instagram that you know they're selling their ass for likes and popularity but inside they can't train they can't lead they're, they're not they're not real leaders they're not real leaders these people are are fake they don't know how to lead they don't give a shit all they do is just pose for the camera and that's it they do not they do not provide anything to anybody they do not provide a service they do not help anybody they just want to fucking sell out and take your fucking cash and they're not putting in the work and training with you they're fucking fluff they don't work So, how do you, somebody asked a question and they said, "How do you, how do you uh, stop being sore from from training every day?" Well, you one of the things to stop being sore is you know constantly doing the same thing every day and not doing any kind of uh, variations because you're constantly putting stress on your nervous system and your muscles. So the thirty one. 31 day burpee challenge that, that was good that was kind of, kind of like a kickstart to to push yourself forward to get you going in the momentum and get you in the habit of training every day and seeing what it is to feel adversity now can you do burpees 365 days a year you can but you're going to get diminishing returns soon because you're going to start getting overuse injuries and you have to switch it up a little bit. So in the end, it's about being uh, physically fit, well-rounded, and lethal. There's plenty of other exercises that you should do and incorporate with burpees, running with burpees, burpees and pull-ups, burpees and core, throwing in different calisthenics. Um, one of um, a really good uh, uh, routine that I did on uh, Instagram Live was I was you know, doing jumping jacks and, and core and burpees in between and sit-ups and lunges and squats. It gets your body working as a whole unit. You want your body to be able to work as a whole unit and work it in different in different planes, and work all kind of muscles: pushing, pulling, rotational, working your legs and your hips, working your calves, everything. Every little every every little part of your body has to get woken up, and that has to be done through full body calisthenic routine. And also switching your hand placement on your burpees. You, know, you want to go wide, you want to go a little bit closer, you want to slow it down on the eccentric part. Um, switch it up with uh, six count burpees. Though those burpees are a little bit slower paced, but they really force you to do the movement properly because you're counting out loud. So it's a full body, like a mind body, spirit kind of routine as well. And doing the counts loud really makes you focus and holds you it, hold, it holds you accountable and keeps you honest when you're doing the reps is it okay to do 500 navy seals once a week yeah it absolutely is you could save that as one big workout like on a saturday where or, or the weekend where you could hit it and the next day you might have an active rest because 500 Navy SEALs that's a really difficult workout um, anybody could agree if they've ever done 500 Navy SEALs it puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders and um, your elbows and your core and you really got to mitigate that stuff with proper recovery but yes you should be doing um, one one big workout a, a week to kind of uh, challenge it like a, like a, like a mashup big mashup hit that hit that workout challenge yourself every week you should dedicate a much longer workout you should be training almost every day if not every day doing some kind of physical activity because we're meant to move we need the blood flowing it, it, it hits the endorphins we feel good when we're training 
all that stuff is important. But yeah, there's days where you gotta kick it up a notch, and if you're feeling good that day, kick it up a notch. If you, you know, if you thought you were gonna do 300, but you feel like you have 500, take advantage and use the and use that momentum and turn an average workout into a, a, a high volume good workout. Because not every day is identical, and you're gonna have your bad and good days where you feel energized, and then some days your energy levels are low. It's 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 normal. We're human beings. We're not. We're not machines. So be smart and plan and try to plan your training. Um, today, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I felt sluggish, but I, w I went to run anyway because I felt like I needed it. And it ju I, just had to, I just had to do it. And I, energy levels were a little bit low, but we got the work done. A weight gain workout so the weight gain comes from calories brother somebody's asking me when am I coming back to the States so I'll be back in the States around the winter time probably around the winter time thank you Kevin I appreciate that brother thank you for the support salute to Kevin and then if you guys want to see um, if you guys want to do a challenge or you have any kind of ideas, hit me up in the comments and I'll, and I'll read that stuff. And also I'm planning to do a merch uh, giveaway. I'm gonna have people um, enter and I'm gonna put the rules down. Um, it's gonna be somebody uh, doing a heavy combination burpee, a really creative one. Um, and the video is gonna be uh, down to a, a minute, no more than a minute and I wanna see who, who could uh, throw down with a heavy combination burpee is going to be the most creative with the cleanest reps and then I'm going to I'm going to pick a winner and then I'm going to give them a free shirt and a, a free hat I'm going to give them a welcome to Rep City t-shirt and an Iron Wolf hat for the winner that's coming down the line I just got to get um, with, with the vendor but yeah, I want to see some good heavy combination burpees, some kickouts, Navy SEALs, everything. Maybe maybe Superman. We gotta train all day. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Kevin coming in hard. I appreciate that. Salute to Jay Vengeance. Check out Jay Vengeance with uh, his music as well. everybody's if you guys have done the challenge how, I want to know how does everybody's joints feel does anybody have any issues um, with their shoulders or their or their uh, their elbows in general and if, if you do there's nothing wrong with taking a day or two off to kind of reset your body so you can continue training because in the end the 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 end state is about being healthy and taking care of yourself and continuing to train and longevity you know, don't don't be stubborn because if there's a difference between hurt and injured. If you're sore, that's okay. Soreness is not a fucking it's it's not a game changer at all. You could you could break up the soreness through a proper warm up and as you get flowing in the workout, you're gonna be fine. But if you're injured and you're you're legitimately having like a sharp pain and you know the difference, then you have to kind of uh, take a step back, take the proper uh, uh, procedures, mitigate that stuff with proper uh, proper recovery and stretching and, and blood flow and proper rest as well respect to everybody thank you John I will I will I will make a I'm planning on making a, a workout with the pull up bar. So he, here's the thing, um, where I'm at right now, the average temperature during the day is 120 degrees. Um, the pull up bar that I have, like is like in the compound, it's outside. So it heats, it, it becomes really, really fucking hot. And it's almost, <laughs> it's almost impossible um, to grab and I gotta, hit the I got to get the routine going at the right amount of time with my schedule to hit it uh, super early in the morning 
and then record it for you guys. I want to do a pull-up workout. I'm gonna do. I want to show you a pull-up and push-up workout. And somebody, uh, thank you, thank you, Trevor. And somebody recommended that I do um, the CrossFit workout, Cindy. So if anybody doesn't know the CrossFit workout, Cindy is. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that, brother. So the CrossFit workout, Cindy, I think it's uh, five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 squats, and it's for 20 minutes, as, as many rounds as possible. Now, of course, the way CrossFitters do their pull-ups, I would never be caught dead doing that kind of stuff. So I don't want to embarrass myself with that, but I will do my strict pull-ups with, with the push-ups as well because reps reps are creation and my name is behind the the reps so i am going to i'm going to record myself doing cindy the way i'm going to do it with proper dead hang pull-ups proper proper uh military push-ups and and full squats so i want to see how many rounds that somebody said like if you get like 25 rounds that's pretty good um i'm We'll see. Let's just see what happens. Um, I like to do that stuff. Um, it's a calisthenic workout. It's it, it's a it's a regular circuit workout to me, five, ten, fifteen, low number. So the the pace is 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 quick. So let's get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it with the clean form as possible. So five minute while 500 squat in the same day that's that's pretty impressive yeah I don't I don't agree thank you Zara thank you Justin just all right I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you Justin asked my day of training so my, my regular day of training so I like to I like to hit burpees in the morning as a separate workout, and then if I have time, I'll finish it off with a, a run. So, average burpee numbers will be between three to four hundred burpee routine in the morning, a mix of burpees, however I'm feeling it, and then I will usually do a three mile run afterwards. In the in the evening, I'm, depending on what day it is, I'm either gonna hit um, some kind of legs core and, and pull-ups or I'll go do some kind of a uh, rowing I like to do almost a, a push-pull a push-pull split so pull-ups and push-ups and then the next day uh, legs and core and then every other day I don't I don't do pull-ups every day and dips as well pull-ups and dips I don't like to do every day because I feel like I get better results when I do pull-ups and dips every other day. It's it takes a little bit more strain on your body because it's I believe it's like a a, a heavyweight a calisthenic movement because you're moving your body and you're, you're moving your body weight. It's heav heavier because you're fighting gravity. Dead hang pull-up, dead dead hang dips take a lot more strain on you than doing push-ups and burpees. So every other day, I think you get the best results with pull-ups and dips. Burpees I could do almost every day and legs I hit legs hard. I hit legs in the 500 like 500 uh, squats lunges um, Star jumps things like that and I do legs every other day, but since I'm doing burpees um, About five days a week in general in a regular week I'm still working my my pulling and pushing my pulling and uh, pushing muscles and I'm working my legs as well not directly but they're still getting worked so i think that's um it's almost like a trickle flow they're constantly getting work but they're not getting overworked and when it's time to really focus on that uh, on, on the body part then they get direct work and then the next day they get rest
Somebody asked how many pull-ups should you do in a week to balance out your burpees. So my pull-up routine, um, I hit between two, uh, regularly on the average, I hit a 200 pull-up workout, sometimes 250. If I wanna get a little bit crazy and I'm feeling that good, I hit 300 pull-ups. Mostly I like to do them in pyramid or ladder styles or in, or in a circuit style. So one of, one of a, a, a very old school classic military uh, pull-up pyramid workout is you do one pull-up, you multiply the push-ups by, by two reps, you multiply the, the core by three, and then you multiply the dips by two. So an example, one pull-up, two push-ups, three sit-ups, two dips. And then, your neck and, and then your second set is going to be two pull-ups, four push-ups, six sit-ups, four dips. And then, just so you guys fully understand, the next one, if I do three pull-ups, then it's gonna be six push-ups, nine sit-ups, six dips. And you keep going up the pyramid. That's a full body uh, pull-up pyramid routine. And if you go up to 10 and down, you will have uh, 100 pull-ups, uh, 200 push-ups, 300 sit-ups, 200 dips. It, it's a it's a it's a great it's a great routine. Been doing it for a very long time. It's a very simple one. If you just want to do it with uh, with uh, pull-ups and push-ups, I multiply the push-ups by three. So one pull-up, three push-ups. Two pull-ups, six push-ups. Three pull-ups, um, nine push-ups. Just like that. And you go up, and then when you max out, you could go back down, or you could restart again from, from one. Those are called ladders. If you're not going in reverse order, then it's called ladders. No problem, no problem, brother. Thank you. I would like to do some uh, collabs. I would definitely like to do a, a collab with uh, David Goggins. I would definitely like to go and um, be on the Joe Rogan podcast. Um, definitely like to talk with uh, Jocko. Um, I, like, I like all those guys. I think they're real serious guys and no, no fluff. Salute. Okay, so I'm gonna Christian asked what what do I think about using knee braces when you don't have knee problems or wrist straps? I wouldn't use knee braces honestly because I feel like they take away your uh, range of motion. If you don't have knee problems, then you shouldn't be using braces, at least for calisthenics, unless your knee is bothering you and you need that extra support. Uh, for, for wrists, I do believe you should use wrist wraps, even though you do not have wrist problems, because it's such a gentle area. And especially when you're doing high rep burpees, like, you know, you're doing, if you're doing a 500 burpee routine, but you're doing three pumps, you're, you're putting a lot of your weight, you know, 1500 times. So, I, I'm 185 pounds. If somebody does the math, 185 pounds times 1,500, that's every time, 185 pounds going on my wrist 1,500 times, how many pounds of uh, pressure that is on your wrists. So, yes, wear, wear your wrist wraps. I wouldn't wear knee wraps. You don't need to. That's, that's a Brooklyn salute. I'm I'm five eleven. All right, so let's talk about uh, a back workout for pull ups. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you two of my favorite uh, pull up workouts. One is a uh, one slick, meaning that there's no weight to it, and the other one is gonna be you could do with the weight vest or body armor. Okay, first pull up workout is gonna be five different grips. You're gonna go up every every two reps. So example, first is gonna be five grips. You go regular overhand, wide, 
underhand close, underhand regular, and then mi mixed grip, the, the wrestler's grip. On your, on your first grip, your regular overhand, you're gonna go two, four, six, eight, ten, and you're gonna do that two times. Again, you're gonna go two, four, six, eight, ten. You're done with that grip. The next grip, wide overhand, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. And then you switch to the other grip, and you and you hit five of the grips with that rep scheme. It's gonna get your pull-ups up really good. Minimal rest as possible while of course still maintaining clean form. The, the other workout is you could do with the weight vest or if you got a dip belt and you could put a 25 pound plate on or whatever you can manage. It's, it's a three layer pull up pyramid. You're gonna go wide, close, underhand, and you're gonna do one pull up, you're gonna get off, you're gonna go one pull up, you're gonna get off. One pull up, you're gonna get off. Three grips, one, one, one. Then you're gonna go two, 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 three, three, three. And then you try to go up to 10 and, and back down again. You're hitting three different grips in the same pyramid. Very effective. That is a strict uh, pull up workout. You're, you're doing nothing in between. All you're doing in between is kind of shaking your arms out as soon as you get enough recovery to jump on the bar. Don't rush the pull ups. Pull ups have to be done with great care and integrity because they have to because they're they're very they're, they're strengthening exercise so try those uh, pull-up workouts they're really beneficial Leah I will thank you Tattoo in my right chest, that's the Marine Corps uh, Eagle Globe and Ink. Electrolytes, you replenish electrolytes. So the way I do it is um, when, when I'm eating, I, I salt my food and then I like to eat, uh, if I can, bananas, apples, fruit, they're really good, like the natural, like sugars. And so all the, all the sports drinks are, is they're like, they're sodium and potassium. You could salt your food and you're pretty much, salt helps you uh, retain uh, water so you're not like sweating so much out. I sweat profusely when I train. So I really have to uh, monitor my water intake and my electrolytes. And all that stuff is done before you're working out and it should become a routine. You should be constantly hydrating and, and constantly monitoring um, your intake, how you're salting your food, and after you're done, it, you know, fruit is great after you're done training, it's gonna help you replenish all that stuff. Potassium is, is very important for, for athletes that are training that prevents muscle cramps and dehydration as well. So potassium in, in banana form is really the best. So eat, eat your bananas, they're, they're, they're excellent for people especially that are doing high rep calisthenics and you're really constantly working those muscles out and you need to replenish i hydrate the night before i work out so if i know i'm training in the morning in the evening i'm hydrating i'm, I'm drinking water trx is good I used to do um, TRX my first deployment in Afghanistan. Uh, one of my uh, friends, he was a EOD tech, which is, stands for Explos Explosive Ordnance Disposal. And he had uh, the EOD, uh, the bomb truck, and we would, we would hook up the TRX to the, to the bomb truck over there. And we would do all kinds of uh, training. We didn't even have a pull-up bar, we were, like in the middle of nowhere. And we would do body weight rows and you like hold my feet up and do bodyweight rows and we do push-ups on the TRX and, and the push-ups uh, where you do a push-up and then you bring your knees uh, to your chest. TRX is good stuff, it's very versatile.
How do you deal with little sleep? It's hard. Sleep, sleep is one of the most important things to recovery and performance for people that are training. How do you deal with it? You try to get as much sleep as you can, and at least you try to get some good sleep where, you know, your room is completely dark, you're not staring at your phone right before you go to bed, all, all that stuff affects your sleep. You want to put your uh, mind at ease. You know, there's no, there's no uh, easy way to train without sleep. You should be really focusing on and trying to get sleep as much as you can. That means, you know, shutting the TV off as early as you can and going to bed. And then you know, you you got you got to do it. There, you got to make sacrifices to take care of yourself. No, I do not take CBD. We're not allowed to take CBD in the military. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be training soon again. The direction that uh, I want to go with the the wolf pack is, um, I definitely want to do uh, more challenges for you guys, but I also want to get people involved in sending uh, videos and showing people, showing other people of the wolf pack what the wolf pack is doing. And maybe uh, potentially do, somebody mentioned Zoom and I have to kind of uh, look into it a little bit, but maybe potentially doing a, a Zoom workout with some people in the Wolfpack, I'm not sure. We, we could get it going, you know, just sometimes it's just a little bit difficult with the schedule here and the, and the connection. I appreciate that. And you keep grinding and keep training. I don't know him personally, but I know of Michael Eckert. What time is it there? It's uh, 7.39 p.m. Yeah, I do know Wingate Park. Thank you. How do you get a cool calisthenic name? I think names are are given. Honestly, you could get. So the way. The way Iron Wolf was given to me. Um, I used to be called Iron Man by my platoon because I would put all these workouts together and we really put it in and, he, and they're like, yo, this dude never gets tired. He's like Iron Man. And then I went to uh, this military course and I won, and I won a, I won a trophy for this uh, military fitness competition and they they made me the class iron man in one of the military schools and it says like you know you're the class iron man and then fr from there when i was making my youtube name i didn't want to make iron man because you know it's it's already taken that's that's tony stark right that's that's all him i don't i don't want to make him look bad so I use the name Wolf because Wolf is something, an animal that I always liked. And I saw this quote and, you know, it said the lion and the tiger might be more powerful, but the wolf never performs in the circus. And that's always kind of been my thing. I've never always went with the flow or the mainstream and I never, you know, my will was never bended. I, I always stood for what I always believed in. I stood my ground and I was never never about the flash and I always felt inside what I was doing was right. So I used the name Wolf. And then here we are. 
and the Iron Wolf logo. That's a dope design. You see that? That's actually. I don't know if you guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but this is. Um, that's actually my face. <laughs> actually, my face in here. That's my profile. Yeah, I got a weird, weird fucking looking face, but had to throw it in. <laughs> Some people didn't notice, but I'm just letting you guys know. Like every logo, ha you know, has like a secret little thing to it. But yeah, that's my. <laughs> you gotta make it your own, right? You gotta. You gotta make it your own and have a little fun. Put your own little spin, spin into it. So everybody noticed the moon, right? <laughs> if you didn't notice the moon, then we got we got problems. <laughs> The moon, that's just, you know, the moon is just the wolf howling at the moon. That's what it, it represents. You know, this this whole Iron Wolf thing, I never, never thought that it would it would grow. I'm definitely not saying that I made it by any means. and But YouTube was never my thing. Social media was definitely never my thing. I did not, still don't understand it, and I'm doing my best to kind of understand the process of social media and getting your name out and you know the subscribers and the fans and all that stuff but man I have I met some really cool people along the way and I've heard some really really good stories and people have a uh... sorry thank you brother thank you sorry I had to pause and read it thank you Zar. and I and I've met some really cool people along the way through social media, but I've just gotten an insight when people send me videos of them training from wherever location they are and whether they're training with kids or they're training by themselves or, you know, there's, there's young men and women that are training for military service to serve their country or uh, police force or, you know, they're losing weight and they're, they're they're getting closer with their kids because you know their kids are training with them all all this stuff is not what i ever thought that it would be but the thing is that you never know unless you make an honest effort and it's going to take it's going to take a life of its own how it's how it's meant to be i put out the training and i trained and how you guys re how you guys received it and you processed it and you gave it back to me is what it is and I could not be more more grateful and I've learned so much and I, I as an individual I as a man I have I have grown I could do I could do a thousand burpees for a month straight honestly I could do a thousand six pumps for 31 days straight I know I can number one because I said I can and I'm gonna do it and I just know I'm physically capable of doing it because I've been operating at a pretty high level and I'm very committed to the training How do I program pull-ups? I talked about this earlier in the video. You should be doing pull-ups every other day, not every day. I think three to four days a week is plenty for a solid pull-up workout. I'm, I won't forget about no normal people. I'm a normal person myself. We all We are all the same. We all train together. I need a stash. I'm good. Yeah, I know the Burpees King. We have plenty of videos together training. I 
I also want to do more um, weight vest calisthenics. I'm going to be throwing on my body armor a little bit more. And then once I do um, the CrossFit workout Cindy, the, the, the normal way, the strict way, I'm going to throw on my body armor and do it strict and see if I could get the same score with my body armor as I did with it being slick. Uh, that body armor is th about 30 pounds. 30 pounds. Somebody mentioned it. You guys mentioned it. You want to see me do it, so... I'll, tr I'll, I'll try to do it. How many air squat reps should you do for growth? I would I wouldn't just do air squats for legs. There's other exercises for legs. Air squats are very important and they're a foundational movement. But I believe um, jumping lunges, alternating jumping lunges, really work your legs. If you could hit a close, if you if you could hit three three to five hundred jumping lunges in conjunction with three to five hundred air squats, your legs are gonna grow. And also, of course, you won't grow if you're not taking any. Um, enough calories burpees do build a bigger chest but you have to add the pumps in them if you want it to be more of a of a push up of a push up centric burpee workout then you got to do five pumps i think five pumps is really good where you could get a really good pump but still get the activation of the burpee going the up and down movement if you want it to be more of a conditioning cardio centric workout then one pumps is where it's at uh five pumps is good five pump navy seals navy seals are i think the most effective burpee in my opinion because they hit your core as well how many days do i rest well, it depends. I listen to my body and I feel like I've had like really hard training sessions and recovery has been an issue, then I will take an active recovery day, not, not a full rest day where I just won't do anything. I prefer to do something light. I'll go for a light run to loosen up and then I'll do a lot of mobility and stretching, like the stuff you see me do uh, in my videos I'll do like the, the cherry pickers, I'll do the the chain breakers, I'll do I'll do all the swimmers, I'll do that. I'll do that stuff for, for a little bit after my run to really loosen up and then the next day I feel a lot better than if I just took a complete full rest day. Yesterday was a complete full rest day for me after 31 days of the burpees. And then I, I was really actually stiff today and then I went and, and ran today to get the blood flow back and now, now I'm feeling um, a little bit better. And also my hydration was a little off yesterday, but you know, we're training and we do what we can with what we got. We're, there's not gonna be perfect circumstances every time and you just gotta do it. I'm a, I'm an instructor trainer in McMap, MAIT, Red Tab. How do I run in the desert? One foot in front of the other. What's what's my movie fitness idol? Uh, I don't know. I, I always thought Chuck Norris was badass. And Delta Force. Chuck Norris. <laughs> Chuck Norris and Delta Force. I, I really like like that stuff. Um, you know, growing up as a kid, uh, you know, John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, he was cool. I remember watching Bloodsport as a kid. If anybody knew that, I was talking about like action heroes, then uh, John Claude, and then of course Arnold. 
you know, Arnold, Arnold the Goat, you know, like the action hero, like, you know, Terminator and Predator. Come on. Take care, brother. Steven Seagal? No. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> I mean... Predator was one of my favorite movies growing up. Arnold, Carl Withers. Solid stuff. Yeah, Bruce Lee was a real martial artist, of course. I think everybody was influenced by uh, Bruce Lee that was growing up. I remember I remember as as a as a kid when Bruce Lee did that um like he would inflate his lats, he looked like a cobra. And I remember being a skinny little kid trying to do that in the mirror, but you know, n n <laughs> nothing was popping out for me. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, do I have friends on my physical level? Um, not. <laughs> not here right now but yeah I've got I have guys that I train with that train with me and did the reps it's I I train alone for the most part well I train alone unless I'm training with my Marines and it's a it's a unit thing but I would love to train with people that's why I like to train with burpees King uh, we do the burpee routines together he's in great shape and it's really good to train on a higher level I don't. I do not have a brother. I have uh, two sisters. No, I never met David Goggins. I would love to meet David Goggins, though. I'm down to link up if you're in the San Diego area and you want to train with, with me you want to get on some high rep workout then yeah yes I think I can handle hell week they were uh, they were my older sisters so they, they could take care of themselves when I was a kid When is my birthday? My birthday is uh, November 9th. Hobbies. I like I read I like I like to read history. I like to read a lot of history. I guess that's a hobby. Geek Squad Forever. Tuck your shirts in. All these questions are coming in quick, trying to read everything. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Scorpio. I don't know much about horoscopes. Don't follow it, but yes, I'm a Scorpio. I do still have peanut butter. November 9th for Burpee Day. Yeah. What what do we got to do to um like to make it a national holiday? We make make uh, November 9th a National Burpee Day. I think we could pull that off because they got they got like ne they got like National like 7-Eleven Frost. They got some bullshit days but we, we need to make November 9th National Burpee Day. So do I gotta who do we gotta contact? Cause they have National Avocado Day. I think I heard that shit. Like, like Chipotle. Like, who the? F All right. We we need to make that shit happen. And everybody hits 500 Navy Seals on National Burpee Day. Friendship Day? Yeah. I'm friends with the Burpee, so me and the Burpee are, are pretty tight. We know each other really well. I gotta talk to Donald Trump. All right. See you make that. See you make that happen. 
<laughs> I say call Trump like like I got him in my contacts on my phone. <laughs> I can share some of my experience, marine experiences. I think save that for another time. I have a lot of uh, marine experiences. I've been, I've been in for 14 years. Did you guys like that photo I posted today, of uh, me with uh, with me and the kids in Afghanistan? That that's actually one of my favorite photos. It's like a little small where we had like a cut, almost a little break. That was in Afghanistan, and it, it it's funny because like those kids come up to you, and you know we have like you know wearing like sunglasses and the helmet, and to them, we probably look like aliens. So like I took a knee and I took my my Kevlar off and I took my sunglasses off and they all crowded around me because they probably thought that they probably thought that oh shit this guy's an actual human because they, they sometimes they, you know you gotta understand like when you when we like rolled up to like a village or going on patrol we look like completely foreign to them because we are we're, 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 we look completely different with our weapons and our body armor and the sunglasses like I said, we're probably like aliens to them. We're like a little dehumanized. And then when I took my head off and I took took my gloves off and I started giving them like the kids fist bumps and they all crowded around and I took a knee and one of my buddies, he's like, he's like, hey Art, let me, t I'm gonna take a picture of you. And then like, I was like, what? And I kind of looked up and like, <laughs> that picture was not planned. And then he gave it to me a couple of months later. He's like, oh shit, look what I still have. So I, I kept that. I thought it was a cool picture. It was a good memory. Do I sleep during the day? No. I don't like, I don't like taking naps. I know people talk about like power naps is good. If I take a nap, I feel like I feel like shit afterwards. Somebody asked, what's the ritual of hitting the, the stomach and then going down in the rocking chair? That's just a different style of burpee. There's different types of, uh, there's different types of ways to do burpees. That's, I, I call it the OG style. That's, uh, you'll see that, you'll see that style a lot in the California Department of uh, Corrections. That's, that's the kind of style um, it, it's used. You could do it if you want. I, I do all different styles. Sometimes I feel like doing it. Sometimes sometimes I don't. It will slow down your burpee reps because obviously there's extra steps in it. But if I'm going for more of speed, then I'll cut it out. But if I'm going with more of like a flow, then that kind of gets you in a rhythm. And it does really work your, your quads and your legs a lot more, that rocking chair. All right, a couple more questions, guys, and then I, I got to go. I like to keep these at about an hour. Rocking chairs burn. When I was, uh, when I was doing uh, the 500 uh, OG3 pumps, my legs were burning. I do have a combat action ribbon. I've never been to Scotland. Tupac's cool, but I'm a biggie guy. I'm from Brooklyn. Long distance running. I'm not a huge fan. I can run, and I've always been a strong runner. We run a lot in the Marines. But I don't like to run more than six miles, honestly. Do 
this Sunday was soft. What do you mean by that? It's a and a man. If you want to hit down, if you want to hit 500 Navy SEALs, be my guest. I don't Olympic lift. I I'm a, I do purely calisthenics. Any dietary advice? If it tastes good, spit it out. One of the best advice you could have. Comfort foods will make you fat. Seriously. Cookies, cakes, all that shit. Um, it's comfort foods and they will... They will make you fucking fat, and it, and it's a grind. If you wanna if you wanna look good and perform, you're gonna have to sacrifice some of that stuff. And am I saying never eat it in your life? No, but severely limit that intake. Yeah, I and mean, fruit tastes good. Yeah, if broccoli tastes good, then yeah. But you know what you know what I mean. But when I say if it tastes good, spit it out. Am I still getting better? Yeah, I'm still getting better. My my 500 Navy SEALs, I I did it in like over 20 minutes faster than my first video. Um, somebody asked how old am I? I'm 35. I don't use supplements, and so I gotta say goodbye, guys. It was buffering. It's just the connection here. So I'm going to I'm going to sign out, guys. It was good chatting with you. Look forward to the look forward to the video next next week. Use this use this week and take, taking a step back, stretching, getting some mobility, taking care of your brushing it and getting ready for it to perform again. There's no shame in that. That's called being smart and, and being a professional and training the right way. So recovering, sometimes it's for people that, for us that like to train hard, sometimes that's, that's the hardest part of the process is taking a step back and taking a day. A day is not gonna kill your gains. You've been training for 31 days straight. So think of the ratio of how much you worked out. And if you take a light day or a rest day, it's gonna benefit you. And that's where you make your growth. So I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and doing it smartly. It was a it was a solid month, Wolfpack. Let's keep it going. Much love and respect. I'm not a vegan. That's not true. And make sure you guys are following. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button too and watch for the new video coming out. There's gonna be a, a circuit coming out this week. I hope you guys hit it hard. Keep it going. And until next time, stay strong, stay safe. Much love, Wolf out.